serious problems caused by social media fake news. Ribadu, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Nuhu Ribadu, has blamed most of the country's challenges on fake news peddled by social media. Social media is today partly responsible for what is going on in our country by trying to promote things that are not true and creating division based on religion and ethnicity, amongst other things, said Mr. Ribadu at a news conference on Sunday in Abuja. Mr. Ribadu called the conference to debunk reports on social media that he accused some top government functionaries of sponsoring banditry in the country. He noted that he has been inundated with inquiries from friends and associates seeking his confirmation on the allegations. The former Antigraphs agency EFCC boss said he has really suffered because of the reports which he knew nothing about. He called on the governments and social media companies to devise means of blocking spread of fake news. They are not being fair to us, and I think the government has a duty and a responsibility to take action. Nobody else can do it, Mr. Ribado suggested. Social media companies also have a role to play. I do not see any reason why Facebook, Twitter and Instagram will allow such a damaging statement to go out against anybody without stopping it. Pushing further, Mr. Ribado asserted that fake news on social media portrayed great danger to the survival of any country. He alleged that fake news caused, by the, ge- caused the genocide in Rwanda where close to a million people died. Same with Sierra Leone and Liberia. He said though he was a strong believer in the freedom of expression, such freedom should not be granted if it is going to cause harm to others. Mr. Ribado, a chieftain of the Old Progressive Congress, said he has become a victim of fake news and have had to issue rebuttal on a total, totally fabricated statement attributed to him, saying it was unfair. The Mohammed Buhari regime has, has been pushing to censor social media, social media over claims that it promotes fake news. Attempts to smuggle in the, the Cronin laws against social media at the parliament have been met with strong pushbacks by opposition lawmakers and the civil society. Critics worry that such legislation was a ploy to crack down on critical voices and crush dissent in the politics. The high un- unemployment is caused by social media too. Naira to dollar is changed down for, was it caused by social media too? Epileptic power supply was also caused by social media. Asian's killings was also caused by social media. Death traps of road, death traps of road was caused by social media. Tribalism was also caused by social media. Greedy and visionless leaders was also caused by social media. Election rigging and, and manipulation was caused by social media too. Take responsibilities for your failures. Social media is partly responsible for the problem of insecurity which Nigeria is facing today because it is social media promotes things that are not true and social media is a forum people use to create division by exploiting the religion and ethnicity. The genocide in Rwanda was caused by social media. No Horibado also said that he has been a victim of social media and fake news which he refuted. I do not, I do not, I do not agree with you. I totally do not agree with you. Was it fake news when Buhari told the whole world that no one can perform better than his educational qualification knowing he does not have a YX certificate? Buhari is dangerously incompetent and a woeful failure. No wonder he has no YX certificate. Sorry, he forged his YX certificate. Buhari said it himself, you cannot perform better than your qualification. Nigerians do not celebrate failure except for those who see Boko, Boko Haram. Who see Boko as book? <laughs> Nigerians do not celebrate failure. Buhari or Tinimbu APC scorecard in six years. Following the just concluded assessments, the following is Buhari and Tinimbu APC scorecard. Basic policies to stimulate economy 0%, security 0%, corruption fire 0%, governance 0%, electricity 0%, exchange rate 0%, respect for the rule of law. 0%. Fulfillment of campaign promises, 0%. Unemployment rate, 100%. Stealing and looting, 100%. The inflation, poverty, hardship, suffering, 100%. Transformation of Boko Haram from business center to mega corporation, 
100%, traveling to London, 100%, lies and forgeries, 100%, illiteracy, 100%, suicides, 100%, killings, 100%, farm destruction, raping of women, 100%, destruction of Nigeria's image abroad, 100%, support for killings by Fulani Hertzman, 100%, Tyranny, intimidation, dictatorship, prosecution, bigotry, marginalization, impunity, 100%. Blaming of good luck, Ebola Jonathan past administrations, Gaddafi, Libya, Mali bandits, and Nigerian youths, 100%. Sickness and medical bigs in London, 100%. Law for animals such as rats, snakes, baboons, jackals, 100%. Restructuring of Nigeria results withheld. Ruga, grazing roots, planned farm estate integration, integration results withheld. Buhari, follow your woeful performance in six years and proven to be an incompetent bycott and a woeful failure. You are hereby constructed, instructed, I beg your pardon, to vacate Asso Rock. Oh my goodness. I'll return to Dara to further notice. This is Nigerian visit on Buhari APC, Tinubu's APC. Social media is also caused by unemployment and increase. Social media is also the cause of unemployment and increase in gas too. Not necessary, sir. Our problems are beyond fake social media news. Perhaps you may look at it this way: Is social media news fake news that makes that make Fulani to rustle their cattle or farmers stealing from one one farm to another? Businessmen presenting fake requests for forex or over invoicing in the government contract, or even kidnapping the new sheriff in town. Social media has suffered in the hands of illiteracy. Why is it that the Northerner discovers? Why is it that only the Northerner discovers the Nigerian problem but cannot meet up the remedy for the problem? So our president. Appointing the Northerners in key position in the country is caused by social media too. Why are the North Why are the Northerners so primitive and aka in their reasoning? The world is moving forward with information technology, but yes, some group of people are so backward in reasoning. So it is fake news that Fulani is attacking and killing indigenous people in Nigeria in an attempt to confiscate their land. All those dead bodies are fake. It is fake news that Fulani terrorist headsmen were nicknamed bandits just to cover the fact that they are Fulani and supported by this Fulani government. Is it fake news that part of the agenda of this government is to kill and destroy the Igbos? Is it fake news that Fulani are kidnapping to fund the terrorism and raping women to humiliate their people? Is it fake news that Fulani are losing the commonwealth of Nigeria? Is it fake news that this government is a tribal by government? Is it fake news that this government came to power with the agenda of elevating Fulani to dominate and reign over every other ethnic group in Nigeria? Is it fake news that what's supposed to be a national army and security agencies are now a Fulani terrorist army and Boko Haram infested security agencies constituted to kill, maim, and intimidate other ethnic groups and oppositions? Wonderful. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen to so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.